Hey there, this is JP with another edition of Slug Localized. We do it every month at Urban Lounge. These guys just got done playing. They make up, what is it, uh, a half of Night Sweats? Right? Half. You guys are six mm -hmm. piece. Yeah. You want to introduce yourselves? I'm Scott. Mike Drone. See you. Thank you. I actually wrote about these guys in uh, December's issue. You can read it on slugmag.com. I got to go to their uh, practice space and listen to some new songs, and I really enjoyed it. You guys are uh, working on an album right now, is that true? That's right. How's that going? Fantastic. Good. We go into Counterpoint Studios on January 9th to create uh, an EP of sorts. Yeah. Or maybe full length, depends on how, how successful we are on that day. Okay. And that show tonight was pretty uh, electric. Did it go well? How would you guys think about it? That was oh, fun. Like yeah. fun show. Well, as your professional musicians, we touched on this in the interview in print. You've been in a lot of local bands. You guys just want to maybe uh, label some of those real quick so people can remember what you guys were in. Steven? No, you want to start this way? Start yeah. Steven. Okay. Start we're going to start with you, man. Uh, I'm in Laser Fang right now. Um, that's enough. <laughs> Thank you. Um, <laughs> you can do just the one, I guess, Mike. Well, Give yeah. me more. I was in the Bible Shades, Coyote Hoods. Um, Laser Fang. The originals. Um, is that it? That's good. <laughs> uh, I was in uh, Red Bennies. Ten minutes. Uh, no, it was not that many. Red <laughs> Bennies, Her Bats, Horns, Horns, Through Orchestra, Kites, Night Sweats, Cool Pants. Missing something. Kaidi Hoods. Hoods. Oh, oh yeah, that, was, forget that. <laughs> that, that, that other band that you wrote songs for and sing in. Yeah, yeah so that's it. Uh, yeah, one time all those bands were gigging in the same house. How was that? Rough. Very rough. Probably, Probably like two shows a week. No, that was like one. three or four shows a week. What a weekend. I'm feeling old, man. That was a while ago, though. Things are different now. Only two bands now. God, man, that's one quite a roster. Only one now. How can you half be in a band? I'm just wondering. For uh, well, it's easy. He's just kind of it's like uh, in place sometimes. In place sometimes upon request. Okay, but I guess the point of that is that you guys are all really accomplished musicians, and you're really good at writing songs together. You want to talk maybe about the collaborative process, how that happens? Well, I think yeah, it, it just starts with something. Yeah, it something mainly starts with starts with him uh, experimenting, and then he'll kind of. Like any other band, he kind of pukes that out, and then we all just kind of evolve up whatever gets thrown out there. You know, pretty, I can pretty, say, give me a beat, like, and I'll sit and I'll play this, and then he'll play that. Organic. Yeah, it's like an organic process. We all kind of, we all rock it. Yeah, that's pretty stereotypical, I guess. Yeah. Sometimes it goes big Nothing and comes special. Yeah. <laughs> sometimes kind of, it just focuses. Yeah, sometimes I, we'll just beat on it for three hours, and we'll like, fuck the song, it's not working. Yeah. I think we're lucky that we have a uh, Terrence who's not here. He has extremely good taste. Yeah, he's kind of like the. And he can once favorite. he gives a veto, it's like. Yeah, good enough, good enough. Yeah, he's been in a lot of local groups too. He's yeah. he's got a great ear. What, what kind of bands did you listen to back in the day? Oh well, I just I grew up on uh, you know, the typical ones like Slayer, Metallica. I grew up in suburbia, California. We had a pet charity at work I, today. Pantera, I just eat shit, live, breathe metal. I didn't, and that's pretty much it and up until 23 or 24 years old. Really? That's when I moved out of here. Well, no, that's not true. That's not true. I had a, I had a love for metal and like Frank Sinatra and Dean Martin music. <laughs> and that's how the Red Bennies happened? No, I, was, I joined the Red Bennies. Well, the Red Bennies is a pretty cool story, but it's a long story. Um, no, I came out here because I met Dave in the Red Bennies. I made a guitar for him, and the rest is history. I recorded you guys, and I uh, played an MP3 uh, back while I was listening to the interview of the songs you guys were doing, and I thought it actually turned out really well. Cool. Do you guys do any scratch tracks when you're recording? Is that part of the process, or when you're practicing, you're jamming? Yeah, yeah. Sometimes throw a mic. So. You guys just like set up a room mic, and then yeah. and right. put someone's phone in the other. Phone. We're we're kind of at that process right now. Mm -hmm. Before we record, we actually lay down tracks. Yeah. We're gonna try and go through. We have a we have a, a, a plan of attack, a process. And yeah, it's gonna be daunting. Mm -hmm. But we, you know, 
we want to start laying stuff down, scratch tracks, and figuring out what's working. Not instrument, more more like levels and well, recording. Like, I mean, I don't really know what you're. We got tons of shit to plug in. You guys I think that's to summarize it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm trying to wrap my head around it. Figure out some cool sounds, you know, whether we run it through those drum machines through amps or however we want to do it. It'd be cool. I'm just going to write. I'd like to watch. We were actually watching these guys have a little band meeting about how you're going to record your album. That's pretty fucking awesome. Yeah. Inside yeah, if we could get this for notes. You're yeah. going to, <laughs> yeah. Because uh, you're probably going to get more drunk tonight and you're not going to remember. So this is the reference for that. Mm -hmm. Would you guys like to add anything else? Because uh, my questions uh, are pretty erratic. We're playing Provo. We're playing Provo next Friday. Oh, next I don't week. know if this comes out by then, but the 17th? Yeah, next Where are we playing, Stephen? Uh, ABGs. ABGs. Oh, oh the, the elevated stage bar? I think so. We need to bring our sub for something. Yeah. Kind of joint. They got a yeah. tiny, crappy little PA. All right. Yeah, we should rumble it. But the only bar in Provo. That is true. And yeah, we're opening up for ads. Laser Fang. It's their record release out. Oh, oh, that's cool. Cool. All right, and a website people should reference when they're looking for your um, music. We just have a MySpace page. It's Night Sweats Tunes. Mm -hmm. um, With that's Z? it. No. No. <laughs> T-U-N-E-S, Yeah. Uh, but no website right now. Okay. We're, we're a secret. Yeah. yeah. You're an underground band, underground. of course. Except for this published article and the performance we're going to put online at slugmag.com. Cool. You can also read this, uh, I don't know if I mentioned that yet, December Slug 2010. Uh, thanks for your time, guys. Thanks for playing thanks, again. Thanks, man. Yeah. Christmas. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Check out more shit at slugmag.com. I'll see you guys later. Cool.